This day has been on the cards for quite a long time, probably a few years. Um, this is our fourth attempt today, and we finally made it. The miracle is that you've all made it, because uh, the invites are still in a bag, in a drawer, in our house. <laughs> So well done on everyone for telepathically understanding that you needed to be somewhere at some time to meet some people. <laughs> you all right there? <laughs> While she has a moment, I'll carry on. <laughs> I feel very lucky today. Um, not only today, but in life in general for meeting Laura. Not only have I been fortunate enough to have met Laura, but to know that I am spending the rest of my life with her. Laura, she's my rock, my soulmate. If any of you get 1% of what I get, then you're very lucky people. There was one thing that I always wanted my whole life, and it's that little girl. And I waited a long, long time to get her, and for a long time it was just me and her. And then that bloke came along, a hey up, and uh, brought joy, laughter, and a lot more humour. And you know, I think it's fair to say, you're a great dad, you're a great stepdad, but that little girl sees you as her daddy. I think that's fair to say. Freya, you're, you're my like, my love, my everything. And I, I am so proud to have you here today. And thank you for all you've done for us. We are so grateful. Big it up for Freya Bailey. In the presence of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we have come together to witness the marriage of Nick and Laura, to pray for God's blessing on them, to share their joy, and to celebrate their love. I, Nick, take you, Laura, to be my wife. I, Laura, take you, Nick, to be my husband, to have and to hold, from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, till death us do part, according to God's holy law, in the presence of God, I make this vow. In the presence of God and before this congregation, Nick and Laura have given their consent and made their marriage vows to each other. They have declared their marriage by the joining of hands and by the giving and receiving of rings. I therefore proclaim that they are husband and wife. Those whom God has joined together, let no one put asunder. Shall we give them a round of applause? You may now kiss the ring. First thing I remember about the two of them getting together, and Laura was filming on her mobile phone. And I'll set the scene. There's a swimming pool with a nice hotel in the background, blue sky, nobody in the pool at all, but there's these massive floats all tied together to make sort of stepping stones across the pool. <laughs> and suddenly, entry from the left comes Nick in his swimwear, who attempts to run oh. full pelt across these floats. And he makes it, I think, about one second in. But does that stop him trying? No. <laughs> no, it doesn't. What made it perfect was the soundtrack, which was of Laura doing her best to encourage him back onto his feet and to carry on trying, but unable to do so because she was laughing so much she couldn't speak. And when I'd watched that video back about 15 or 20 times, I thought to myself, these are absolutely the perfect couple for each other because We've got on one side someone who's still essentially eight years old <laughs> and on the other side someone who positively encourages that in him. You are my absolute soulmate. I adore you. We have so much fun. We've got so much that we've already done together and we're already planning to do together. And I am so blessed and so grateful that I can now call myself your wife. I love you.
Yeah, I'm just going to go along. They're nice flowers. Where do you get them from? Um, Argos. <laughs> 